So four months after its first release, we now have the biggest update to the TD UK Launcher Manager. Now, as you can see here, it has a completely different layout. We have direct access to all of the settings. I can press the home key on my remote, which takes us straight into our custom launcher. So the whole application has been completely redesigned by Sween Wolf. So now, for example, when I'm in my custom launcher and I want to change some of the Amazon settings, previously you would have to open up the launcher manager, but now with this new version, I can just press the context key on the remote, go straight into the Android settings, and this takes me directly into my Fire TV settings. So we have settings for network, your applications, display mirroring, remotes, my Fire TV, even the developer options. If I click on that, can all be directly accessed from this new launcher manager. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this new launcher manager on your 4K Fire Stick or second generation Fire TV Cube or any device running Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to begin this process on your 4K Fire Stick or Fire Stick Lite or your second generation Fire TV Cube or any device running Fire OS 6 or 7, make sure you've gone into developer options and you've enabled both these options. Once you've done that, you can now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader. And inside Downloader, we can use a special code to go directly to my website, which is just 53402. So let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, you would head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines and then click on tutorials. And once you get to my tutorials page, let's scroll down and we're looking for this one here, which is the launcher manager for Fire OS 6. But this also contains another launcher manager for your Android TV devices. So let's click on that. Scroll down, here we have the step-by-step -step instructions. And under all of that, we should see firstly, the different launcher managers. So this is the one for your Shield TVs. This is one for your Chromecast. Here is the original one for your Amazon devices. And just under that, we've got the February 2021 update. So let's click on that now. And that's launcher manager 1.04, scroll down, and click on this green download button. So install that first. Once you've done that, let's press the back button and make sure you are using the latest version of the Wolf Launcher, which if we scroll down, we can see it's this one here for your Amazon devices. Let's click on that and make sure you've got the January 2021 version of the Wolf Launcher. Once you've installed both those applications, let's now press the home key. And just as a word of warning guys, you should always install your custom launcher onto your internal storage. I know that lots of you on your 4K Fire Stick have expanded the internal storage by using a USB drive and you typically install all of your third-party applications on that USB drive. Now, all of that's okay. It's just that the custom launcher should always be installed onto the internal storage. And the reason for that is if something happens to your USB drive, maybe it becomes corrupted or maybe you lose the drive or something, if you then restart your device, your device is going to try and load that custom launcher, which is not going to be able to do because you've unplugged that USB drive. All you're going to see is just a blank screen. So again, just make sure you always install your custom launcher onto your internal storage. So let me now open up the launcher manager for the first time. And here we are inside the new launcher manager. And Sween Wolf has done a fantastic job with this because you can see just the navigation just the layout, it just looks so much cleaner than the previous version. Now we can see at the top here, we have a new section, which is the launcher options. I can click on that and we can see I now have the option to enable the stock launcher and disable the stock launcher. And on the left hand side, we can see that it says the current launcher is the KFTV launcher, which is the stock Amazon launcher. So let me now click on disable stock launcher. Now you will see this ADB prompt the first time you do this. So I can click on always allow and click on okay. 
Now in the background, two ADB commands are being run, which will basically disable your stock launcher. And as we can see now, it's saying that the current launcher is the Android system. And what that means is, is that it doesn't know which launcher you want to use. And you'll actually see a prompt when you press the home key. So let me try that now. And the reason why we see the screen on my device is because I actually have more than one custom launcher installed. And the other custom launcher has some really cool features, which I will give you a sneak preview at the end. Now, in my example, I'm going to use the Wolf launcher. Let's click on that now. And here we are inside our custom launcher where we can see we have no adverts, no sponsored content, really nice looking background. And of course, we can customize this as much as we like. Now, I've already covered customizing the Wolf launcher in multiple videos. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link in the video description. Now, the main update with the launcher manager is the fact that we can now access those native Amazon settings. So the next time I want to change my Bluetooth devices or change my Wi-Fi settings, all I need to do is press the context key, go into Android settings, which then takes us back into the launcher manager. And we can see we now have all of these system shortcuts, which we can use. So if I want to pair up a new Bluetooth device, I can go to remotes, click on that. And this takes me directly into the settings. And let's press the back button. And if I want to check my Wi-Fi TV, click on that. And that takes me directly there as well. Now we can see when I press the home key, it's still asking me what launcher do you want to use? Because when I selected the Wolf launcher, I only clicked on just one. So that means in just this instance, use this custom launcher. But if you press the home key again, it'll still prompt you. Now, the way we can make that a permanent change is if you click on always. So here we are inside our custom launcher. So now when I press the home key, we can see it stays inside the custom launcher. Now, if I go back into settings, so let's press the context key, go into Android settings. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment hashtag wolf, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. And we can see now it says the current launcher is the Wolf launcher. And if I click on that, I then have the option to enable the stock launcher if I want to. Let me press the home key. Just one thing I will show that because it probably is the most common question in all of my Wolf launcher videos is how do you change the background? Well, downloading backgrounds is super easy because we can open up downloader and we can just search for 1080p wallpaper or wallpapers, download any wallpaper that you like, press the home key, press the context key, which is one of the three lines, go to launcher settings, go to wallpaper, make sure you've got this first option enabled, click on select wallpaper, click on internal storage, find the downloader folder, because anything that you download via downloader appears in the downloader folder. And let's try this one over here. Give that a second. And we're now using that custom image. So the entire process of just, you know, changing backgrounds, adding sections, moving things around, it really is very easy with the Wolf launcher. And of course, when you do use a custom launcher, you don't see any of those Amazon adverts, none of that sponsored content, no sponsored applications you really can just make the launcher exactly how you like it. Now, as mentioned, let me show you this other launcher, which I've been checking out, which is the Lean Back on Fire launcher. Now, one great benefit of this is, uh, let me open that up. This will actually create a dedicated row for that. So if you do use the Live Channels application or the Fire TV recast, you can directly access those services by using these shortcuts here. So, I mean, this is based off the Lean Back uh, launcher for the Android TV devices. Uh, very easy to use, fairly simple. But again, if you are looking for that cleaner interface, and of course with no adverts, it's also worthwhile checking out. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to check out this new launcher, then make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.